Charles Law. Charles Law states that for the fixed mass, again, it's the mass must be a constant, okay? The volume of the gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Uh, so volume of the gas, V, directly proportional to the temperature, okay? Provided that the pressure of the gas is kept constant, okay? So the pressure must be constant. When we write this into equations, then we have V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2, right? Okay? Because it's uh, directly proportional, so, so we have V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T So that's the formulas of Charles' Law. So. Explanations. When the temperature increases, the average kinetic energies of the gas particles increase. Eh? So increase temperature, the gas will move faster. And when the gas moves faster, it will collide with the wall with higher frequency. Okay. When it collides with the wall with higher frequency, this will result the space between the gas particle increase and the volumes of the gas increase. Eh? Okay. Uh, actually, it's uh, collide more frequent. It will uh, increase the pressure, and when it increase the pressure, and then uh, it will uh, increase the volumes of the gas. Eh? It will increase the volumes of the gas. Directly proportional, eh? Okay, just now it's pressure directly proportional to temperature. This is volume directly proportional to temperature. So the graph is the same. Okay, the graph of pressure law and Charles laws, eh? They are the same. Okay, so. If uh, Kelvin, then it's a straight line passes through the origins. If degree Celsius, then it does not pass through the origins. And uh, V over T is always a constant, okay? It's a horizontal straight line, okay? So directly proportional. If uh, degree Celsius does not pass through the origins. And uh, okay, this is V over T, uh, not P over T. V over T. Let me use a uh, black color. This is V over T is always a constant. V over T is always a constant. That's for the graph. Example three. Yeah? The figure shows some air trapped in a capillary tube. Given that the temperatures of the air is 27 degrees Celsius, find the length of the air column when the temperatures of the air is 87 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, we have uh, temperature 1, T1 equal to 27 degrees Celsius. This is equal to uh, 27 plus uh, 273, which is equal to 300 Kelvin. And then we have temperature 2, T2 equal to 87 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 87 plus 273. This is equal to uh, 360, okay, 360 Kelvin. And then uh, they give us the length of the gas column, okay? This is a cylinder-like uh, capillary tube, okay? And uh, let's say, let's say the area the area the area of this cross sectional cross sections is a yeah? the area is a okay so the volume the volume of the gas uh, v1 is equal to 6 cm multiplied by a right that is how we find the volume of a cylinder the area of the surface okay cross sectional area multiplied by the length 6 multiplied by a okay uh v2 v2 let's we, we don't know the length so let's say the length is a h and uh, the area is a okay the area is a so that's what we have mm, by applying charles laws so we have v1 over t1 equal to v2 over t2 and uh, v1 is 6a uh, t1 is 300 Make sure that you convert Celsius to Kelvin. Eh? And then so V2. V2 is a HA. And the temperature is 360. Okay. Now the A will cancel off. Eh? The A will cancel off. So for this one, if you don't want to write 6 times A, you can straight away write 6 cm. 
Okay, this is HCM also can uh, because uh, later on this 2A will cancel off. Okay, I, I put A is just for you to understand that that's how we find the volume of the gas because sometimes some students say, hey, this this is supposed to be the volume. Why you just give me the length 6 cm? Okay, if we're supposed to give volume, okay, uh, the volume is uh, 6 cm multiplied by the cross sectional area. Okay, but the uh, A later on will cancel off. Okay, so for V1, V2, we can straight away give 6 cm HCM. Eh? So from here, okay, we can find our H. Uh, H equal to 360 multiplied by 6 divided by 300. Okay, this is equal to 7.2 cm. Uh, 7.2 cm. So initially 6 cm. Okay, when the temperature increased to 87 degrees Celsius, then the, the length of the mercury columns will be 7.2 cm. 